Good evening everyone, time for another member update. Let's start out with the USDT Bitcoin price from Poloniex. Um, you can see that uh, we're now above 2500 to 2523 is the price for in USDT. Uh, I have hedged most of my Bitcoin now above that I've been very active uh, just can't stop trading these markets let me just give you an example here of my trading tier status in my account you can see I'm currently now on tier with 0.12 and 0.22 percent uh, on my trading tier that's down here and you can see that my 30 day trading trailing volume is 1232 bitcoins so that's a lot of volume that's how much trade I've been pretty much doing nothing but trading for the last month so I apologize to everybody that I've gotten behind an email I've gotten behind in comments I've gotten behind in everything because I have been just trading like a madman the the money to be made in these markets is just phenomenal if you're utilizing the sort of trading strategy that I've been using. Uh, even when I made bad trades, I ended up making money. Today, uh, I played Syscoin, and uh, these types of coins are, my favorite way to play a coin is to buy a breakout into a new all-time high. This isn't a new all-time high, but I bought this breakout here. Um, also played Expanse, uh, and I did play Library Credits the other day. Uh, it's not here in the percentage-wise, but uh, the move in Library was very, very strong. You can see this huge volume that came in. So I'm very, very bullish. Uh, I'm going to be playing this, trading it, uh, as well as have some for the long term. But you can see that it's pretty much gone into new highs and it's backing and filling now but there's going to be a opportunity here to trade it coming up soon and uh, that will be probably very profitable certainly this breakout was very easy to play uh, you could have bought it and uh, just sold here or add it to the position uh, position there added some more here you can see we have a crossover the MACD so crazy times going on in the cryptocurrency space crypto coin market cap up here at 96.76 billion dollars so my 100 billion dollar prediction by the end of the year is pretty obviously going to be surpassed uh, again the move in Ethereum apparently has been new money because you can see bitcoins now at 42 billion ethereum's at 22 billion so new money coming in and buying ethereum uh ripple up there at uh 10 billion 10 billion dollars for ripple it wasn't too long ago that the entire market cap of the cryptocurrencies was 10 billion now ripple alone gnosis uh no so it's it's crazy billions and billions of dollars flowing into this space and uh, th this brings me to this cliff high interview on Greg Hunter if you get a chance listen to it I'm not gonna play it but I'm gonna go through the article that was posted on before its news and talk about what Cliff says and his mention of silver here so let's read this and I'm going to comment. Internet data mining expert Cliff High has just finished an in-depth dive on cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin. High uses what he calls predictive linguistics to spot trends and make predictions for future events. Now, just as a comment here, I, I think it's interesting. I heard in one of his interviews he was talking about like how people are psychic or something or the global mind. I always thought that his theories were based on the elites kind of leaking to the media or to certain people who begin to chatter about what they plan on in the future but apparently that's not what he believes apparently he believes there's kind of a Jungian global mind and it becomes aware of things 
Of course, I think that's utter nonsense, but he has had uh, a fairly good track record with predicting things, and we know in this space, uh, with the bold ponies of the world, the, the track record in the precious metals community, you've got, you know, King World News, which pretty much no one's paying attention to anymore, Silver Doctors. I mean, there have been so many failed predictions for silver, but we get one for from Cliff here, and uh, he, he tends to be more accurate. Um, as to the validity of the web bot, I'm still up in the air. There's probably something there. I certainly don't believe that there's this global mine. Anyway, continuing with the latest price spikes in so-called blockchain type cryptocurrencies, what does Cliff High see with his latest internet mining report? High reveals we're not at a period of time where we are valuing one store of wealth, Bitcoin, against a store of debt, the dollar. We are instead looking at an episode of hyperinflation. It is an episode where a great many people lose faith in the dollar and they rush into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. There are people coming in and out of the crypto space based on degrading levels of confidence in the U.S. dollar. So we are at a global currency reset at this point. There will be no Bretton Woods conference. There will be no G7 central bank meeting. That will be meaningful because these individuals are behind the curve. The curve is being led by all the people as they lose confidence in all the fiat currencies. We have demonstrable proof that the managers of the dollar are very bad at it. Lots of people understand this and they want out of the dollar and into something else. On charges, things like Bitcoin are nothing more than a Ponzi scheme, high rebuts. We are at a flux point where one system is dying off and we are just about to head into the other one. As we go into that transition, this point of time we are in right now is where all of this is coming up, all the froth, all the corruption globally because we can't pay for it anymore with dying dollars. You can't bribe people with dying dollars. We have to have good solid money and we are developing it on our own because the sovereigns failed us. When the sovereigns failed to supply wheat, the French Revolution happened and off with their heads. We can't take being starved by a bunch of butt heads at the top. We the people can tolerate a great deal, but the body politic is self-correcting. In this case, we have decided to butt heads in the buttheads in charge of the Fed and the body politic have to go because those guys are just too corrupt, too criminal, and they're in our way. Both the dollar and the banks are doomed, and I'm not messing with those. Where does Cliff see Bitcoin going in the hyperinflation we're heading into? Cliff High says, I've got what you call a strike point, a numeric value our data sets are aiming at that shows Bitcoin should be about $13,800 sometime in early February of 2018. That will basically be a five-fold increase at what we are now. I always thought cryptos would have to break out first in order to upset the structure of the central bank so silver and gold could break loose. I suspect silver will break loose the rocket shot on that will be staggering, but bear in mind, I am the Internet's worst silver forecaster. I've had silver at $600 per ounce in our data since 2003. If that occurs, look at how shocking and rapid that rise is going to be. Hi goes on to say, gold and silver are the most undervalued assets on the planet. He predicts by early February, gold will be at $4,800 per ounce and silver will be around $600 per ounce. Hi also says the Fed can't kill cryptocurrencies. The elite are fear fearful because they can't control cryptocurrencies and they can't suppress them. There will be no more source of free printed money for bribing people when the dollar dies. The corruption and crime will be revealed. So that's the interview with Greg Hunter. I encourage you to listen to that. Now interesting here, he gives this $600 price for silver. Now I don't know if you guys remember, but there was this chart that came out a long time ago called the real price of silver a 600 year chart and it goes back to 1344 and it uh, is calculating the real price of silver using 1998 dollars I, I think it's really only updated to 1998 there may be a newer one if you find it let me know but uh, I don't think there's too much change it's actually going to be even worse here but uh, what's really interesting about this chart is that the real price of silver actually was most uh, stabilized 
for the longest time around that $600 price. You can see from about the year 1344 all the way through 1564 or 1524, price of silver was around 600 bucks in 1998 dollars. So according to this chart, if this is accurate, and I think it is fairly accurate, then a $600 silver price is just a reversion to the mean, if you can believe that. Uh, an increase above 600 would actually be a bull market in real dollar, uh, silver price in real dollars. So even though that's an outrageous prediction, $600 silver, based on this historical chart, it really isn't that outrageous. Uh, you can see the 1980 run up here, it puts in a significant spike. But uh, the powers that be have been suppressing silver. I was reading on Silver Doctors today uh, an article about the silver suppression. And the point was made that the reason why silver is the most important metal to be suppressed is because central banks uh, hold gold and they, uh, they're not too worried about gold. But silver is something that has to be suppressed and destroyed because uh, it's, the, it's the potential Achilles heel. We've talked about that for a long time. It's the, the danger that they fear. And so they've been at it for a very long time. You can see that the, the big bear market in the real silver price actually started about the time when the U.S. was founded. Interesting. So back to the cryptocurrencies. It's a wild and crazy ride. And I believe looking at the Bitcoin price here, it's about to get a lot wilder. Uh, we are close enough now to this old high that we put in here, this $2,700 price, we're getting close enough that there are going to be some fireworks. Now, these alt coins have been behaving in strange ways in response to Bitcoin. In some instances, when Bitcoin strengthens, you see them weaken. But there's other times when Bitcoin strengthens, they strengthen with it. I'm not really sure what the psychology is, but... Uh, they seem to be hedging against, uh, they, they seem to be worried about a big takedown. We've seen before, for example, during this takedown, uh, I showed you the charts of some of the crypto, alt cryptos that absolutely got destroyed, even worse than Bitcoin. But when we just have a general kind of uh, sideways or slow upwards movement, then uh, they seem to be strong when Bitcoin's strong. And then when Bitcoin kind of weakens slightly, they actually get a little uptick. So I'm not really sure I understand uh, the basis for that trading. I'm going to pull up the next chart here. Um, but uh, there's something to that. There's definitely uh, reactions in the alt space when Bitcoin makes a significant move, either up or down. So that's something that you have to watch when you're playing these. You have to watch it very carefully because, as I said before, you know, if you're, say, long this CIS coin here, then, uh, you know, because of the percentage returns, you're making a tremendous amount of money carrying that coin. And if Bitcoin's going up, you're making money from that. But the exact same thing operates in reverse. When the thing starts tanking against you, and uh, it usually happens when Bitcoin starts tanking, then... Uh, it's a double loss. It's very, very dangerous. So a really exciting game. Uh, I can't stop trading it. I'm really starting to lose sleep, but I've made a ton of money. I've made more money than I could even imagine. And uh, there's a lot of people that are pretty angry that they missed out. I read a comment on Silver Doctors today where a person said that they're just waiting to get even in silver, that they wasted 10 years of their life trade or investing in silver but uh, I, I don't consider that to be the case I don't think that silver is something that you invest in I mean I don't I haven't promoted silver as an investment I don't think of it as an investment I think of it as savings I use silver as savings and savings for the future my retirement personally I've had multiple uh, 401ks I've had uh, a pension 
I've had multiple times where I've borrowed against or I've taken out retirements and or I've just done monthly type of stacking and uh, I look at it as a retirement savings plan saving in physical silver I don't look at silver as an investment where I expect to make a quick return because that's not uh, that's not what I'm expecting I'm expecting something similar to what Cliff is saying that uh, this run in silver when we get to that six hundred dollar price uh, is going to be when the manipulation ends and certainly this chart indicates that uh, six hundred dollars in, in 1998 money was a fair price for silver for very very long uh, for hundreds of years so there's no reason why we can't revert back to that after all the Federal Reserve has only been around for a little over a hundred years and the demonetization of silver really only occurred maybe 50 years ago so that's actually a short time frame for what we're looking at so Cliff may be right we may get the massive run-up in Bitcoin he's predicting above ten thousand dollars and then the precious metals would follow and that would be a fantastic outcome and we'll talk to you next time